Hey everybody, Vaping Gal Philly here, and today we are going to be talking about the Conquest telescoping mod from Hengson. Uh, had this for about almost two weeks, um, been trying to get the review done for it, uh, but wanted to make sure that I fully tested it out for you guys before um, I did the review. So it took a little bit longer, and I do apologize for that, but I've gotten it tested. I'm going to take you down, we're going to look at it up close, and then we'll come back up and we'll talk about it. Okay, so as you can see, I have everything in front of me broken down, and we are going to put it together one piece at a time. So we got the drip tip with what I'm calling the flavor chamber, because it seems to help with the flavor. This is the top cap to Hangson's version of the Helio. Little difference, got a Stellaire style airflow in it, and you cannot tighten the middle ring down um, on their version um, unlike the version that I did the video on before for the Helio. So we're going to put that on there. Put our cap on the Helio. And this is the top cap of the mod itself. It does have a floating pin, however it is not spring loaded so it just pushes out to meet your atomizer. Put that on there. You have the top part of the mod, uh, the telescope part. It does have a vent hole um, like that on there. Now you have two options for the center part. If you're using 350 mode you would use the smaller one, but I'm going to use 18650, so we're going to use the bigger one here. And you just Toss that in. Put your battery in there. This is the bottom ring. Uh, on the other end, it does have the magnet in there, and I'll talk about that in just a second. Got a little bit of juice on my finger. Sorry, like I said, this is a magnet. So, uh, on the bottom, here is the bottom firing button with the magnet on it. It does reverse polarize as most magnet switches do. And if I can get it on there. And there you go. And then you go towards yourself uh, to put it into mode where you can fire your mod. I do suggest leaving a slight little gap there. Um, I noticed when I had it fully locked back towards me that once in a while this button would stick, but it was very infrequently but when I twisted it just a quarter of a turn or so, I did not have the problem with that button uh, doing that. So there you go. You have the entire Conquest telescoping 18650 mode mod. And like I said, they do have a ring if you want to have it in 350 mode. Um, but I chose to do it in 18650. So let's go back up top and we'll talk about it. And there you guys have it, the Conquest. Um, the pluses are uh, it comes with an atomizer. Uh, it has a magnetic switch that's pretty decent. You can do it in 18650 or 18350 mode just by changing out the tube. Um, I'm kind of digging this thing. I'm not sure if it's called a flavor chamber, but that's what I've been calling it. Um, I like that. Um, it's got the air holes venting for... Uh, your battery in case something happens. Uh, and the downside, uh, like I said about the Helio, uh, you can't tighten this top cap uh, like you can on the other Helio that I did a video on. So once in a while this ring will slip. It is an easy fix. You just push it back over and uh, it's taken care of. The other problem was the firing button. You just have to turn the uh, lock switch a quarter of a turn or so and that will prevent it from sticking. Um, and I wish this would have been in brushed stainless steel to avoid the f fingerprint thing, but that is just a personal preference I have. Um, other than that, it is a great device. I like the fact that it comes with both tubes. So if you want to telescope it down to um, 18350, you can. Um, but yeah, pretty good little device. Oh, I didn't show you guys the bottom button. It does have the Hangson logo on the bottom of it. And I think it was very well done. Um, so 
Uh, make sure you check out hangson.com. I believe that's where you can get them. I will put the link in the description for you guys. And until next time, vape on and vape strong, guys.